Hi guys, Debbie with Crafting Chaos here. Wanted to show you how to put together my little um, cigarette box tag album. I've had it posted on my, my blog a couple times, different styles. This is not the best cardstock to use for it, but I didn't want to waste any good paper to do it. But um, here is my template. And we're going to do these two pieces today. So the first thing I do is I go ahead and score or uh, fold on the score lines and get all those uh, ready to go so that when I get ready to glue I'm not trying to rush and fold and glue. So I'm going to fold all of these lines. Sometimes the paper you use makes it hard to see. but. Um, I've done this a number of times, so I think I can almost put it together in my sleep. Okay, so here we go. And I got it folded. We're gonna start here at the top. And this top flap just gets folded over and glued here. And it's just an extra support. I wanted to show you also, I have, I use the Scotch Quick Dry and I put it in one of these little bottles and I have a little fine tip, has a little needle that I keep in it to, to keep it from drying out. And also if you do leave it open for a little while and it gets stuck, you can just stick that in there and, and get it uh, unplugged. So we're going to put glue on this first part right here. And we're going to fold it over. Just give it a few minutes to dry. Then the next part you're going to glue is you're going to glue these two little flaps here and you're going to glue it to this this part right here which if you see my fold it's going to be on that second fold. So the easiest way I think is to bring it together. Put your flaps down. Put some glue there. And then fold that down. Just give it a few minutes. If you use the quick dry, it doesn't take very long to to hold. Once I get it done, I'll show it to you what look what it looks like. Okay, so now you've got that. I hope there's not too much light. I, I close my blinds because I get a lot of light in here. So and now I can't tell whether it's not enough or it's too much. So now you've got these two these two curved areas. You're just going to fold this top flap down where it meets that and then glue that down. See? Glue that down right there. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll show you what it looks like. dogs outside barking so I hope you don't hear that. They're very needy. And so that's what your top looks like and this is the lid. Now this score line here and I know you're not going to be able to see it. Um, on the back side it's right here. It's what makes this little lid hinge. I ungroup that in my template and then I manually score that because depending on the paper you use, I know if you use coordination paper it's nice and heavy so it makes a nice sight, a nice weight box but it, if you are moving this multiple times it's just going to break right there. So that's a good place to manually score. So the next thing I do is I will bring the sides up and then you have these two little flaps. So I'm going to put glue on them. And then fold it onto that. Hopefully you can see that. So now your box looks like this. So then you're going to take these outer folds. This is what what is left. You're going to bring them up and over these existing folds here. So this 
is what you got left. You're going to bring it up and then you're going to glue right here and fold them down. Hold that for just a second. Do the other side. Fold that over. And now you got your little box. Now, there's one other piece that I put in the inside. It's this, it would be what's this khaki piece here. Makes it actually look like a cigarette box. And that's this piece here. You're just going to fold at the flaps, or at the score line, sorry. And then you have that. I'm going to use the opposite side so that you can see it when I put it in the box. Um, then I put glue on each side of the flaps and then I put a little right in the center and then you're just going to slide that into your box and I bring it down till the sides are straight with the back and then it just leaves a little extra on it on here exposed so you can see that so hopefully you can see that I hope it's not too glary in here so see that, that's, that's that extra piece we just put in. And then now you can decorate it. I got tags with my um, template. And then you can just stick it inside the box. I put twine on, on mine, obviously. You can see here. I even made an, uh, a little button flare to put on the front of mine just like I did the other one. I can't show you it because I sent it actually to one of my design team members. Um, she was expecting a little grandbaby, so I thought she might like that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it, um, I hope it turns out good once I edit it and see whether you can actually see everything. Um, if you have any questions, please send me an email, dsc105 at me.com. If you'd like the template, I'd be more than happy to give it to you if you subscribe to my channel and become a follower of my blog. And you can leave me a comment telling me you did and through, you know, blog loving or, or blogger. Um, and I'll send you that file. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.